Hello everyone, Dr. Sue Mortar here from Mortar Institute, bridging science, spirit, and human possibility. I've been working with patients and clients and practitioners for more than 30 years about natural healing techniques based on energy medicine and quantum science. And so it is a great pleasure to bring all kinds of information to you uh, regarding exchanges that I have with students and practitioners and facilitators that I'm working with. And what I know is that what ends up happening is we combine a lot of concepts together based on all these principles and drop them into some user-friendly ideas for you. And that's why we're here in this moment. And what I'd like to speak with you today about is finding your purpose, how to find your purpose. I have so many questions that come to me regarding my soul purpose, my life purpose. How do I know what it is? How do I know when I find it? What is it that's, that's happening there? Why can't I find it? I've been searching, I've been seeking, I feel flatlined or I feel confused or I pursue things, ends up not being my passion or my purpose. And how do I make sense out of all of this in such a manner that uh, starts to move me forward? So many times questions will come up like, what will it feel like? How will I sense and know that I'm actually on track, uh, et cetera. So let's dive in. First, I want to set some, some groundwork for you, and that is that Ultimately, if we are in our protective personality, if we are in our ego, or if we are in our wounded self, or our hurt self, or our frightened self, or our performing self, if we're in our performing personality, uh, we can't find our purpose from there. It's a different language. It's a different radio station, a different vibrational frequency. And so, first things first, we have to stop the runaway train and ask ourselves some, some real pertinent questions. Am I operating from a place of survival? Am I afraid of something? Am I trying to control my life or other people in it? Am I seeking love? Am I stuck in the fact or the idea, it's not a fact, that I'm unworthy? Am I stuck trying to prove something or do I feel inadequate or invalid in some way that has me always rising up in a tough kind of fashion or a overgiving sort of fashion or a um, retreating kind of manner? Are there things that I know I'd rather be doing, even though I don't know exactly what they are, other than what I am doing, but I have to keep doing what I am doing to pay the bills, to make things work because of commitments, etc. If those things are going on, pursuing the discovery of your purpose is going to be elusive. It's going to be difficult for you to ever land on your true purpose when you're being overridden by these other ideas that have you believing that you have to, you can't, or that you should, uh, or that they should, or that because they won't, you can't. When those are the predominant messages running through your life consciously, or even slightly subconsciously, but if you stop and think about it, that what I'm sharing with you in this moment, if it begins to feel this way, then we're locked in a pattern that is not going to allow us to discover our purpose. So first of all, we have to answer some questions. Uh, what is it that I'm saying to myself that is causing me to believe these things are true because they're not true? I'm operating on a sense of a lie that was established early on in my life if I'm stuck in this pattern of trying to make it work or trying to please others or trying to get people to do something so that I'm okay. So that's number one. Ask yourself some of those pertinent questions and start to have a heart to heart with yourself. Really come inside your core and ask and listen to the you that is in there because your passion, your purpose are simultaneously residing deep in the core of your being. I wrote a book called The Energy Codes and in that book, I'm speaking, I think I have it here, uh, I'm speaking about in the book um, how to identify the distinction between living from the protective personality and living from the essential self. So when you start to apply those principles and the how-tos that are stuck in the book like mile high, um, what you'll find is that there's a way to come into your central core and relax and find a sense of self that maybe you haven't had before. And when you begin to find that sense of self, uh, everything changes. What happens is you change your radio station, you dial into a place of presence. It feels warm, it feels 
kind. It feels good. It feels loving. It feels like you can breathe in your belly. It feels like you want to pay attention to what people are saying. It feels like you have love available. You're more interested in loving and learning about how to love yourself even more and to love other people even more than you are interested in controlling or winning, etc. So as that transition starts to happen, you start to drop into a place of abundance within yourself that is full of your purpose. It's filled with a passionate um, vibrational frequency that allows you to just delight in life um, no matter what your circumstances are. And then you start to know, I'm moving toward the place where I, where I would easily discover my purpose. I can give you some shortcuts here. Here's a tip. Your purpose is to learn to love yourself more. Your purpose is to awaken to your own magnificence. Your purpose on this planet is nothing more than to be your full, true, essential self absolutely, unwaveringly, not abandoning yourself to please or to prove or to do or to succeed in some way, always bringing the whole self forward together simultaneously. That is your purpose. It's that simple. The ways for that to express outwardly is individual and unique to each of us, and yet it's exactly the same thing. We're here to learn to love. We're here to learn to manage the energies of our lives regardless of our external circumstances. In fact, because of our external circumstances, we come to know who we are when we learn to sit down and to breathe and to allow the true self to have the life that it came here to have. So use the principles in the Energy Codes book. Use the principles that I will teach you in the Energy Codes coursework and allow this purpose to become so undeniable that it is the guide of your life every day. And it is my great pleasure to share these ideas with you, and I look forward to connecting with you live someday. Much, much love.